Hi folks, greetings, blessings. Pierre Etienne here from Lumos Transforms. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath. It feels like it's been a it's been a long year. And for me and for many people around me, there's been a lot of uh, a lot of stress. And many people around me and myself at times have found ourselves to be a fun myself to be a little checked out. And so I'm coming with the reminder that when we go through a lot of stress and it's you know fair to assume that regardless of where you are in the world right now you've been through a lot and you're going through a lot when stress accumulates what's going to happen is that's going to we're going to start to check out right it's as if like and maybe you've been through stuff like this when you feel like it's happening to somebody else right it's almost like an out of body experience and this idea that when we get so stressed out, we disconnect from our body is very important for us to understand that this is how it works. And for us to be able to reclaim safety and to work towards balancing our nervous system, it's important for us, it's important for us to come home, to come back into our bodies, to come back into our body. Now, there are two things to it, two things to this idea of coming back into your body. Number one, um, let's remember that coming into your body, it's much easier to do that with movements. And I feel like it's almost common sense, but many of us this year, I've been thinking that, okay, to come back into my body, I'm just going to sit in a chair and I'm going to breathe. Um, and we can have another conversation another day around meditation, which I practice and I teach and I love, which has a lot of benefits. But when it comes to embodying, that may not be necessarily the best way for you. I know it's, it hasn't been the best, the best way for me to embody and to come back home. So number one, re remembering that for you to embody, it's good to ask yourself, what kind of embodied practices, what kind of movement practices do you have in your life? Right? Do you, uh, do you dance? Do you do yoga? Do you work out? Do you exercise? Um, do you do different types of prayers? Right? How do you consciously and intentionally engage your body here? How do you come back home? That's the first thing. Right? For me, I'm, I feel blessed. Part of my uh, religious and spiritual practices invite me several times a day to engage in movements. Right. So what is it for you that will remind you to come back into your body and to engage your body? Because when you go into these movements, that will also help you to kind of diffuse some of the activation in your nervous system. Right? To simplify, maybe an hour ago, a day ago, or a few weeks ago, your body was like, oh, we need to run, we need to punch, we need to do something. And in that moment, you didn't get a chance to do that. So what happened is that whoop, all that activation stayed in your body. And so for you to create outlets, to create opportunities for your body to be able to say, oh, here goes that activation, I don't need it anymore. That's number one. Number two, let's remember that regardless of the practices you're engaging in, let's keep it short. And I've mentioned that previously, I think, in some other videos, but I feel like it's so important to remind myself and to remind you that let's take it easy. I and many of us, many people I know, have a lot of stress stored in the body. And so that means that when we come back to the body, it's better for you to not do a long practice that's going to just bring up so much for you. Again, going back to meditation where a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to push through during the week and on Sunday I'm going to med meditate for an hour. That doesn't go that great usually, right? Because then we're going to sit and we're going to have all of this coming back up and we're going to be like, oh, I suck at meditation. You don't suck at meditation. But it's important because it's just important to understand what's going to happen when I re-engage with my body. So engage in embodied practices and, and look for ways, uh, for outlets that are just short, a few moments at a time, a few seconds at a time, maybe a minute or two. See what works for you. But keep it short and remember that it's more important for you to engage consistently and regularly in a practice rather than, you know, taking an hour on Sunday. 
um, and and you know vegetating on the couch watching Netflix for three hours does not um, does not qualify as a, you know engaging your body. I've done that. Sometimes it's needed, but I also know that's not the best way for me to come back into my body. Right. So having said that, just let us know what you think. Uh, what are the practices you engage in? How do you come back home? Um, you don't have to do this alone. Let's just learn together and from each other. Thank you for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.